Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Let's face it, most of us probably like watching things blow up, except when it's your circuit. But sometimes, especially during testing or prototyping, this can be an issue. If too much current winds up going through some of your more sensitive and expensive components, that little flash or puff of smoke can be anything but joyous. But did you know there's a way to prevent that from happening? Well, of course you did. But did you know that there is now a kit from SparkFun that can prevent that from happening? Introducing the SparkFun Fuse Breakout Kit. This little soldering kit is fairly simple. It contains the Fuse Breakout PCB, a pair of 5mm pitch 2-pin screw terminals, two PTH fuse clips for a 5mm diameter fuse, one glass ferrule fuse rated at 250 volts AC, 500 milliamps, and a PTH barrel jack connector. And the PCB is designed to give you options. You can use either the screw terminals or barrel jack connector for your input, and you can use either the glass ferrule fuse, like the one that comes with the kit, or you can solder in a positive temperature coefficient PTH fuse, which will increase in resistance as current flows through it. If you're a seasoned solderer, then this kit will be a snap to put together. The toughest part will be deciding whether you want to use the screw terminal or the barrel jack for your input. If you're new to soldering and electronics, then this kit is great on a couple of levels. First, as a soldering kit, it's a simple build, the components are spaced far enough apart that it's very forgiving, and in the end, you've got something practical you can add into your circuit. Which brings me to the second aspect for the beginners, you've got something practical to put into your circuit. And a lot of times, I know as beginners, we've all had an accidental short or maybe hooked something up backwards, and that puff of smoke or little flash can set back your progress until you find a replacement for whatever you just smoked. But this kit can save you. Here, let me show you how. I mentioned the PTC fuse, as it's possible to use that on this board, although it doesn't come with the kit. We've got one soldered in here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump current into this RGB LED string. It's five meters, and what you'll see first is all three LEDs, red, green, and blue, light up, giving us white. But as the fuse starts to kick in and pull back the current, we're going to lose the green and the blue as they require more current to run than the red. That'll leave us with just red on the strip. So let's see what happens. There's our white, but as it starts to happen, we fade back to red. It's because our fuse is doing its job. Now this is going to get hot, so be careful touching it. Ow. Now, I've got a nice power supply here, but what would happen if I took these two alligator clips and connected them together? I think you know. And that's what can potentially happen if you have a short circuit or a ground fault in your circuit and that can wreak havoc on your project. But a fuse is designed to circumvent that. It will sacrifice itself to save your more expensive components. So what I've done here, basically, is I've hooked these two together, but I've put a fuse in the middle of it. So I'm gonna demonstrate what happens. But first, kids, remember, even if you're doing something only potentially dangerous, you wanna protect those eyeballs. All right, let's flip the power on and see what happens. Flame on, noble fuse. So hone your soldering skills and protect your project with the SparkFun Fuse Breakout Kit. Get yours over at sparkfun.com and happy hacking. I mentioned the PTC fuse. PTC, yeah, positive temperature coefficient. Oh, that sucked. One more, one more. Three's the charm. Actually, if I make it on three, that's pretty good for me. <laughs> then this kit will be a snap to put together. Yep. It sure will. Okay.